All right, solving this problem. I did this, I did this beforehand to make sure I could do it. So first thing I did is I'm just working with the numerator in this portion right here. I took out one of the, one of the factors. So in this case, you know, I, I did sine theta times sine squared theta, and I converted sine squared theta to one minus cosine squared theta. And I did a similar thing for the cosine cubed theta. I took out a cosine and converted the cosine squared to one minus sine squared theta. And then I distribute the sign and everything out like that. Um, and then what happened is uh, I pulled the sine theta plus cosine theta over and put them over their own denominator. I mean, these are these can all be separated by themselves over sine theta plus cosine theta, um, but they're all grouped together because they have a similar denominator. So I group those together and they cancel out to be one. And then what I did for sine theta, cosine uh, squared theta, um, minus sine squared theta, cosine theta. So I factored out a negative sine theta, cosine theta, and then I had cosine theta plus sine theta left, and that cancels out the denominator, and that's how I got one minus sine theta uh, times cosine theta left over, which is what is on the right side of the equation, and that's how you prove it. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.